Hi, my name is Mark Napoli and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between SQL and NoSQL based databases. So, if we look at an SQL database, we have to think about the data that's going to be put into that database as being structured data. That means you need to know ahead of time what that data is going to look like. And a schema for your tables within that database needs to exist. That means a lot of the decisions, the design decisions are made when the database is first formed and changing that later down the track can be quite difficult. A NoSQL database on the other hand can use semi or no structure or unstructured data within this database. So they're a lot more flexible in terms of the data that they can work with. The second thing that is different are the types of transactions or the nature of the transactions. In an SQL database, transactions are atomic, which means if you submit five transactions to the database, it will wait for those five transactions to be performed before committing the first one. Now you can think of the ramifications there in terms of financial transactions or databases that hold financial transactions. Uh, so this is a very important point or a very important feature of an SQL database. Now SQL databases are eventually consistent. And as the name might give away, you need to wait uh, before your right to the database is pushed through all of the hosts within the database. So this sort of points to another design feature of both SQL and NoSQL, and that is what sort of infrastructure are they designed for? So SQL databases are typically run on monolithic servers, which are servers with a lot of CPU, memory and disk requirements. That tends to leave databases here running at 100, 10 to 100 terabytes in size. Now if you think of the architecture of a NoSQL database, they tend to use smaller nodes distributed across a lot more nodes. Uh, so whereas this might look like two large boxes, perhaps being an active and a standby, this may exist in a cluster of boxes, smaller boxes, but a lot more of them. And so being eventually consistent means writes take time to be consistent across all of the nodes. And those are some of the differences between SQL databases and no SQL databases. Thanks for listening.